Well, dinosaurs, they are invading the Delaware Valley. Happening today, Jurassic Quest, America's biggest dinosaur event, is coming to the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oak. CBS News Philadelphia's Wakisha Bailey is there live this morning. Wakisha, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Howard. You know, I feel like we went back in time. And you know what? It's never too early to get up and close with Tyson. Look at this. This is my newest friend. <laughs> I'm a little nervous though, but I hear he's really, really nice. And of course, we've got Ranger Lee as well as Safari Sarah, right? Yeah. Good morning, guys. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, okay, you. so we're up and close. We're looking at dinosaurs, and this exhibit is truly amazing. Can you tell us all about it? Yeah, of course. Well, Jurassic Quest is North America's largest animatronic dinosaur exhibit. So not only will you come into this place with towering dinosaurs, but they move, roar, they're set up in their respective scenes of the three time periods. There's fun and education. <laughs> now, talk a little bit about the education because, I mean, we're seeing a lot of exhibits, and of course, we're going to visit them a lot more later today as well. Yeah, of course. Yep. So spread throughout the exhibit are signs that give you information about every dinosaur you'll be able to see, as well as we have a lot of stops along the way, including our fossil table, where you get to see real and replica fossils and ask our dinosaur experts anything you want to know about dinosaurs. And plus, if you've come to Jurassic Quest before, we have something brand new, which is our exhibit tour. So as you're going through, if you can't read yet for our little ones, you can actually hear about the dinosaurs while going through. What do you think it is about people who love and they're fascinated with dinosaurs? Well, honestly, everyone's obsessed with dinosaurs when they're kids, right? Because they look like these mystical beasts that we don't see around nowadays. But the problem is that we grow out of it because we just don't see it anywhere but movies and TV shows once we get older. And that's one of the reasons why we love bringing it back because not only do we see kids coming in with their jaws on the ground, <laughs> but we see their parents surprised that their kids remember the names of their favorite dinosaurs when they were kids. You guys, how long did it take? Take to get this exhibit up? Well, it takes us about one and a half days, about 16 hours to get set up. And we're going to be here all weekend and then we'll pack up. <laughs> so you guys are going to be here all day today, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. We'll be here until 8 p.m. today. We open at 9 a.m. And then on Sunday, we'll be opening at 9 a.m. and uh, closing at 7 p.m. Now, we can't not leave without talking about Tyson. I was really nervous he at first. He does. Oh, Can you talk to us a little bit about him? <laughs> So Tyson, one of our three baby dinosaurs we have that people can meet and greet all that fun stuff with. We have Tyson, who's our T-Rex, of course. <laughs> then we have Cami, our Camarasaurus, a type of long-necked dinosaur. Okay. And Trixie, our Triceratops, who's very, a very big fan favorite for the smaller kids who want something just a little bit less threatening. <laughs> and you guys are going to be with us all morning, so I'm going to try to get warmed up to uh, Tyson, and I'll let you guys nice. know how that goes. Howard, sending it back to you. Well, Keisha, if no one else is afraid of Tyson, you can't be afraid of Tyson. Look at Safari Sour over there. I know. He's cute, but I don't know, Howard. I'm a little nervous. All right, well, you'll deal with that. We'll see you again coming up in a half hour. Thanks, Keisha.